Hello, all you beautiful gamers out there, and happy birthday to me, Jules. That's right, I am 27 years old today, and all I want to do is play video games in my pajamas. It's going to be fantastic. Thanks for being here with me. I'm with Razum, damn you fine, as always. And we're going to visit Eleanor and ask the proxy queen if we can visit a college. Hopefully it goes well. Let's try it. What a big city. The buildings are so tall. Well, here's the way shrine at least. Okay, I found the way shrine. Okay, I'm going to go this way. The city's so big, it looks like it's easy to get lost in. Oh wow. It's very beautiful here. I'm just taking it all in. I just have to find the palace. Where is it at? Oh, straight ahead. Wow, it's all the way up here in the mountains. Oh, check it out. You can see everything from this bridge. Oh, check out that waterfall over there. Oh, and there's a shrine! That'd be cute to go down there and take selfies sometime, take some screenshots. Beautiful area down there. Let's go see the queen! What's going on here? As I have said, the proxy queen is unable to hold an audience with petitioners at this time. There are other affairs that require her attention. And when will your ever-busy proxy queen see us? Does she even intend on receiving our petitions? Or does she cast us aside like the rest of you high elves? Many affairs compete for the Proxy Queen's attention. The complaints of newcomers do not rank as a matter of priority, simply put. How dare you dismiss me? As though I was some commoner. I refuse to leave this spot until my petition is heard. The and same me goes as well. for me. Oh, wow. Seems like the... Proxy Queen's a busy, busy woman. I hope she'll see me. I feel bad cut in front of these guys. Oh well. I hope she's as pretty as Queen Irene. So fancy in here. Must be nice to be royal. What are you guys up to? Just standing around not talking. Enjoying the wine. So sophisticated, so fancy. Oh, it's the queen. Hello, proxy queen. Let's get a good look at her in all her glory. Hello there, proxy queen. It's wonderful to meet you. I like your dress. She's gorgeous. We grow accustomed to the influx of visitors to our blessed isle. Though your increasing numbers remain a source of concern to our nobles. We, however, find the many non-Altma faces to be... interesting. What business brings you to the palace? The right master of the Sigic Order sent me to get your permission to enter the College of the Sapiarchs. The Sigic Order? We have not heard a word from that August body in a star's age, and then word arrives that we should expect a visitor. Why would we grant access to the Sapiarch's private compound? Speak true if you want our aid in this matter. I get why she's reluctant to trust like a stranger right off the back. I'll, I'll tell her. The Crystal Tower is in danger! The Right Master sent me to warn you. This involves the business that Razumdar was telling us about. The Queen's cat claimed he had eyes in the Sigic Order, but we assumed that was more of his braggadocio. Very well. We'll send word to Lilandril that you may cross to the college. Is there anything I should know about the college? The newcomer wants us to blather on about the many wonders of the Blessed Isle. Why, by all means. Let us sing the praises of the Sapiarchs, reveal a recipe for an autumn delicacy, and select the best House of Reveries performance for you to attend. She's really pretty, and I expected her to be just like Queen Irene, but she's not. 
when she talks, it's really nice, but the, her tone of voice makes me think that she's not happy I'm here. I'm getting the sense that I may have offended you in some way. Indeed. Perhaps you aren't as dull as we first presumed. Dang! My queen has asked that we welcome you. So we shall tell you that the Sapiarchs are our teachers. The compound in the Landrill serves as the seat of their prestigious college. Well, I'll be on my way. I have to go travel and save the world. You have fun being stuck up and snooty. And we shall alert the portal master to accommodate you. Once inside, seek out Lana Teal, Sapiarch of Archaeology. She leads the college and should hear the right master's warning. There, we have done our deed for the day. Okie dokie, you are just... Not what I expected at all. I thought she'd be way nicer. But I guess not. Gosh, Queen Irene, your cousins are kind of jerks. No one can live up to the perfection that is my goddess, Queen Irene, though. I expect too much. Well, that was just... That was just great. That was just different. Not what I was expecting at all. Wow, News look over here. Queen's eye. Could it really be true? Oh my. Someone's talented. They look like they're having fun. Oh wow, what a pretty Khajiit. Come back, I want to look at you because you're pretty. I, I like to admire NPCs. This one applauds the proxy queen, putting her palace high above her city, where no idle petitioners can bother her. Gosh, that seems awful, though. I think the people should be able to petition her and talk to her and voice their concerns, but she's way up here avoiding them all. That's awful! I just want to stay here and keep admiring it, but I guess I better keep on trucking! Where am I going to next? Oh, I gotta go way up there. Well, I guess I will go ahead and travel here and get to running. If I can. What's the matter, girl? Oh, I know what it is. I know why she's near me. She's fallen in love with Razum Dam, you find. She can't look away from those icy blue eyes and that perfect mohawk. She's in love with me. I get it, girl. You got it. You got it bad. But I'm an adventurer, so I'm gonna have to go, so I'm gonna walk away. Don't go, Razum Dam, you find. I'll always love you. Maybe now it'll let me fast travel. Here we go. Ah, uh, I watch her walk away and think of what could have been. I'm really enjoying my birthday so far. I love laying around playing video games in my pajamas and no one bothering me. Everyone's actually at work. I'll have to celebrate this weekend with my friends and family. I'm hoping to stop by Dairy Queen and pick up an ice cream cake. It's something I've been really looking forward to. At the beginning of the month, my husband bought me a Nintendo Switch for my birthday, and I absolutely love it. It's the best birthday present ever. I love how it's portable, and I can take it with me on the go. I, I love the controllers. They're so cute. I've been playing Mario Odyssey, The Legend of Zelda, this game called West of Loathing, which is a bunch of stick figure cowboys. It's so much fun. And it's great because with my disabilities, I get sick really easily and suffer from blackouts, so I can just play it in bed. And it's fantastic just to relax and play because I can't move my PlayStation around because it hurts me. I have to wait for Matt to come home and do it. But the Nintendo Switch is lightweight and portable and it's so great. Oh, I can't believe I waited so long to get one. I can't imagine my life without it now. Best birthday present. Hail, mighty warrior. <laughs> not today, side quest. That's tempting, but not today. Gosh, it's so pretty here. More places to take screenshots. Ugh, oh, I wish I lived here. It's so great. It's so beautiful. I live close to the Mississippi River, so the water's all brown and you can't see fish in it to save your life or snapping turtles. So, you're the one that saved the queen, eh? I guess it's pretty in its own way, though. I see a way shrine and I'm gunning for it. Oh yeah, I see you. Oh, I like that statue. And the vines. The vines are pretty. And the flowers. 
Blue and pink. I like everything. I'm not picky. Oh, that's pretty too. Am I going the right way? Yep, I am. Oh, wow. Oh, it's Val! I've checked over Lilindril from top to bottom, and there's no sign of the Court of Bedlam. I can't get the Portal Master to let me go to the College Compound, though. Have you brought permission from the Proxy Queen? Well, the Proxy Queen promised me she'd send word to grant us access. Good, good. I was about to turn that insignificant book dust into something small, wet, and slimy. Nah. It would have made matters worse, but it might have brightened the dark mood I've been in. Oh, no! Sorry, I don't mean to burden you with my troubles. No sad faces. Today's my birthday and everybody's going to be happy. It's okay, I'll cheer you up. But is there anything I can help you with? No. The mission is more important than personal matters. I'm sure Lathan will turn up eventually. Aww. In the meantime, you should talk to the portal master and see if she's ready to grant us access to the college. So, Lathan is her friend that's in the Sigic Order with her that she was originally looking for. And they're missing. Well, can you tell me more about Lathan? Lathan and I met when we were initiates of the Sigic Order. We fell in love and married, Aww. had a daughter. We had all the things we ever wanted. And then everything changed. After we lost our daughter, Lathan grew distant, more subdued. That's right. I remember she told me she lost her daughter and I felt really bad about it. How'd you lose her? It happened ages ago, after a long illness. We lived on an island filled with the most accomplished sages of our age, and there was nothing that could be done. We tried. I tried. But the illness took her in the end. Oh my gosh. Lathan was never the same. Oh, Val, I just want to hug you. I'll be your new daughter, you sweet, precious angel. So did Lathan leave Artaeum, like, forever? No, it wasn't like that. When the Right Master first learned of the possible Daedric threat, Lathan volunteered to look into it. We both thought it would be good for Lathan to get away. Aww. Give him something to occupy his time. That sounds nice. Then he disappeared. Oh, shoot. I hope the Daedra didn't get him because of all the Daedric princes involved. Oh, poor guy. Oh, he's probably in danger. We need to rescue him. Lathan's reports became less frequent. Then he stopped sending them altogether. I'd know if he was dead. But he could be a prisoner. He could be! Or hurt. Or worse, My dead! My main concern right now is the threat posed by the Daedric Princess. Lathan will have to wait. Oh my gosh, that poor girl. She wants to find her husband and... Oh, that's awful. Girl, you are just the strongest woman I've ever met. Let's get inside the college. Not now, please. I really must prepare for tonight's lecture. Besides, only those with permission may enter the College of Sapiarchs. We can't have just anyone wandering around the compound. Well, the Proxy Queen gave this birthday girl permission, so we're going in. So you're the luminary the Proxy Queen wants me to treat with kid gloves. And I suppose the arrogant Sigic is with you? Ouch. Oh, very well. Let's get this over with. The compound has been purposely isolated to serve as a sanctuary and place of study. Research and scholarship require solitude and quiet, after all. We use magic to travel back and forth. That's cool! I'll prepare the portal dais when you're ready to cross. I'm ready, let's go now. Oh, that's awesome, so it's just magic? Awesome! Just oh, fuck! Oh! <laughs> I'm so sorry! I thought it was like magical, like Harry Potter or some shit, and the bridge was invisible. Oh my gosh, give me a second. I'm so sorry. Oh my gosh. Forget you saw that. Okay, here we go. I didn't know we had to press X. I thought I could just walk through it. By the seven sacred texts, who has dared invade this place of learning? I've got this. You talk to that sapiarch. Oh my gosh. This is unheard of. Attacked in our own sanctuary. 
What's going on? This is terrible. Please excuse my present state, as I am distraught beyond all rational thought. I never imagined that Daedra would attack our compound. It's madness. Forgive my lapse in protocol. I am Elamil, Sapiarch of Daedric Fallacies. Tell me what happened here. Are you okay? Happened? No, oh, it isn't over yet. Oh, shit. There was no warning. Daedra filled the compound. So many great minds cut down. We were able to clear the courtyard, but there's more inside. I fear for the safety of the head Sapiarch and our other sages. I came to warn you about the Crystal Tower. The Crystal Tower? You need to speak to Lana Teal, Sapiarch of Archaeology and head of our college. She's trapped inside with those monsters. I suggest you enter through the labyrinth beneath the compound. Just watch out for the Daedra. All right, you be safe. According to the maps I studied, the labyrinth is this way. I'll return to Lelandril and warn the guards. Good idea. Perhaps I should accompany you. Get to safety, guys. I'm coming, Val. I can't believe the Daedra are here. Hey, Val, do you know how the Daedra got in here? There's more to this than a simple Daedric incursion. I felt a strange sensation when we arrived. A sense of urgency. We need to hurry and find the trapped Sapiarchs. Do you often get sensations like this? Sometimes. Probably has something to do with living on a displaced island and being part of the Sigic Order. We knew the three Daedric Princes were a threat. But this is our first clear evidence of their hostile intent. Do you think the Sapiarchs are still alive? Even scholars have ways to defend themselves. Which reminds me. I can protect myself, but I'm not much good in a raging battle. I'll try to stay behind you and keep out of the way. <sighs> now, let's hurry and go save the Sapiarchs. She says she can't fight, but I've seen some of her spells. She's pretty good. It sucks that she can't really help me, though. How did the Daedra get in here, though? I mean, I had trouble with that bridge. Surely Daedric Princes would have trouble with it, too. I'm pretty smart, and that was hard. That was hard to deal with. Oh, that guy needs my help. I'm coming, friend. I didn't help much. Can anyone assist me? Oh, wow. By I like the stars. This place is enormous. Oh. I might as well help him. Oh, I got run over. More spiders. Help me, Val. Do something. It's that freeze time spell. I really need to do that Sigic quest so that I can get the Sigic skill line. You came to the wrong college, motherfuckers. You're about to learn ass kicking 101. Take that. Alright, where am I supposed to go now? I'm glad this guy is here to help me. Oh, I, I hear someone screaming. Someone's calling out for me, asking for help. You're bad. Damn, Val. She's cool. All right. Here goes nothing. I love that spell. I've got to learn it. Not on this character, but one of my magic builds. Oh, shit.
Man, they weren't kidding when they said they were being attacked by Daedra. There's so many of them. And they, they just keep coming. Watch out, Val. Ah. I'd like to explore this compound one day, when fewer Daedra are about, of course. I would like to, too. Because it's supposed to be a college, not a battlefield. Ugh. I regret getting a closer look. She was creepy looking. Aw, oh, they're holding a guy off a bridge, you bunch of jerks. Oh, wait. I probably shouldn't have done anything because he burst into flames. Hiya! Alright, time for the twins. Dumb and dumber. Oh, thank goodness for Val. At least I have Valserin. Oh shit! Ah! That guy looks like he's from Resident Evil Nemesis. Thanks, Orange Kush! Oh my gosh, it's more Daedra. We're getting closer. I don't care how many Daedra they throw at me. They're no match for Rasm, damn you fine. Did we get him? We did! Oh, wow. What is that thing? Oh, not one of those again. Oh my gosh. I sense... this way. Oh, Val! Stay and help me fight! Don't go! Val! Val! Come back! Oh, I'm kind of glitching. Val, please come back. I miss you. Come here, you. There we go. And I did it. I did it all by myself. That wasn't so bad. I'm proud of me. I'm mad at Val, though. She just took off. What the shit, Val? I hear voices up ahead. Did you hear me yelling for help, bitch? The Rebellion's diamonds are not mine to give. Especially not to a Daedric cultist. Lathan! Stop! Lathan? No, damn you! What? Your husband? That's your husband. What the shit, Val? Are you guys okay? You and your companion arrived in the proverbial nick of time. Now, if you wouldn't mind, who in oblivion are you? And how did you know the College of Sapiox was under assault? Hello, I'm the adventurer Rasm Damufine, also the birthday girl, 27 years old. The right master of the Sigic Order sent me to warn you the Crystal Tower has been compromised. First, the cultist leads an army of Daedra into our compound and demands I turn over the Resolute Diamonds. 
Now you arrive with a warning from the long-absent sages of Arteum. I think you need to explain yourself before we go any further. Three Daedric princes worked with the seed slodes to steal the heart of transparent law. That's impossible. We would know if the tower's defenses had been breached. But it would explain the disasters currently befalling the Somerset Isle. Let's say I believe you. What does the right master suggest as the next step? He is trying to locate the heart. We need to keep the Daedric princes out of the tower, though. A reasonable plan. But access to the tower requires the resolute diamonds, which are guarded by the tower's sentinels. Only they can use the keys. I suppose they are the next targets. We need to warn Hanail and Imidril at the Illumination Academy. I can go warn them. We appreciate your aid in this matter. Before you head to the Illumination Academy, perhaps you can have your friend get that... cultist out of my compound. As it is, it's going to take weeks to get rid of the stench of Daedra. Can you tell me more about the Tower Sentinels? Every eleven years, two Sapiarchs are selected to undergo a long and extensive ritual to attune them to the Resolute Diamonds, the keys that open the Crystal Tower. These Sentinels guard the Diamonds and utilize them to grant access to the Tower. No one else can use the Diamonds? The Azure Diamonds are a matched set, specifically attuned to a pair of Sapiarchs at any given time. Only an attuned Sentinel can use a Diamond Key, and both keys are required to open the path into the tower. Wow, that's good security. Then why does the Daedric Cultist want the Diamonds? Who can say how much the Cultist actually knows about the Diamonds and their function? The Daedric Prince he serves, however, has magic enough to utilize the diamonds. That's why we must make sure the Sentinels are safe and out of harm's way. Can you tell me more about the Sentinels? In addition to their Sentinel duties, Hanail and Imadril also serve as scholars in the College of Sapiarchs. They have research to conduct, lectures to give. For their own protection, however, their identities as Sentinels are known only to a few. Why are they kept a secret? That's our standard practice. Difficult times call for desperate measures, however. You need to know who they are so you can find them and return them to our compound. Hanail needed to use the Academy Library, and Imadril accompanied her. Okay, I'm gonna go look for him. But first I'm gonna talk to Val because I'm worried. So this is your husband, huh? Let's leave these Sijiks to their work. We have a college to put back together. Gosh, this must be hard for Val. She was just saying how badly she wanted to find him, and now look at her. Look how mad she looks. Like, you fucker. What's he up to? I can't believe I was concerned about the welfare of my husband. To find Lathan here, threatening the Sapiarchs, and leading a horde of Daedra. How could he betray the Order like that? How could he betray me? What did you do to him? Why is he floating like that? A simple spell of binding. His attention was so focused on the Sapiarchs, he wasn't prepared to deal with another Sigic mage. While you go and find the Tower Sentinels at the Illumination Academy, I'll take Lathan back to Arteum. You won't have any trouble getting him back to the Sigic Order on your own, will you? I almost hope he gives me a little trouble. Damn! I could use a reason to unleash some pain and suffering on this... this... turncoat. Don't worry. My spell will hold until we reach the confines of Kapora Tower. Man, poor Val. She was already super depressed because she thought her husband was gone, missing, probably hurt somewhere, and it turns out he's a Daedric cultist now. And she was already sad bringing up her dead daughter. Oh my gosh, her that poor woman, her poor life. What do you have to say for yourself, Lathan, you jerk? You there. Tell my darling wife to release me, and I'll ask Mathala to kill you quickly when the new age dawns. How is she married to him? Oh my gosh, Val's so sweet, and he's just... Ugh. You're Valserin's husband, huh? Why do you serve the Daedra now? You were part of the Sigic Order. What the hell is wrong with you? 
Spinner saved me from fools and altruistic adventurers. Valserin turned her back on me and my daughter a long time ago. Is it any wonder I've found acceptance and a purpose among the court of Bedlam? So you decided to betray the Sigic Order? Don't presume to judge my actions, you insignificant flea. I am an Earl in the court of Bedlam now. Chosen personally by Mathala to represent her on this all too fragile world. Leave me. I'm done speaking to you now. Shit. Do you think maybe in all his grief that he's just gone a little bit mad and crazy? Because he's starting to think that Mathala is his salvation and that's not right. Oh my gosh, Val. I'm so sorry you have to deal with this girl. Well, Val, you have fun with that. Don't, don't use them as a punching bag. Oh my gosh, what a turn of events. I'm just gonna fast travel here so I can come all the way up here. Gotta go to the academy. No, you have fun with that. Well, here we are on the road again, celebrating Jules's birthday. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Gonna go to Dairy Queen this weekend and get an ice cream cake. Which way is it? There we go. I'm not gonna get lost. Like I always do. Shout out to all my wonderful new subscribers. You're all beautiful and I love reading your comments. Thank you so much. If you haven't already, please check out the About section on my YouTube. Also, in the description, I'll post links to my social media accounts. You can follow me and get to know me a little better. Is this it? This looks like it. Illumination Academy. Oh, you always arrive just when Raz needs you most. Look at these two handsome dudes. No, After Raz spoke to the pretty Sigi Coriandra, Whispers reached me about the illustrious Illumination Academy. They said that the Court of Bedlam hunts a sapiarch there, so Raz had to come and see. Didn't expect all the crazy people. A hunted sapiarch? That must be one of the Tower Sentinels. I came here to find them. So the Crystal Tower really is in danger. This one finds that so hard to believe. The Crystal Tower. It's a bastion. A symbol of everything the High Elves hold dear. The Queen would be very cross with Raz if anything bad happened to the tower. There are two Sapiarchs. They guard the diamond keys that can open the crystal towers. I, I need to find them. Now Raz sees why the Court of Bedlam seeks these particular sages. Very well. No need to twist this one's tail. Raz will help you save the Sapiarchs from the demented Daedric cultists. Let's look in the guest wing on the west side of the compound. Oh yeah, Razumdar and Razumdam, you find the ultimate team back together again. This let's, way. Let's Follow go, Ross. friend. I'm coming. I should put on my Queen's Eye costume so we match again. But I'm so proud of this armor. I love it so much. What is that approaching? Some strange sea beast. Prepare to be boarded, mate. What the hell was that? That was weird. Roz wasn't kidding about the people being weirdos here. Let me in the door. There's no kitty door. New arrivals? I wasn't told to expect any students or scholars today. Sorry, they usually let me know when new academics are going to arrive. I'm sure I can find a way to squeeze you in someplace. How long do you plan on staying? No thanks, I'm looking for a couple of sapiarchs. Are they here at the academy? Sure. They arrived a few days ago, but only Sapiarch Hanayel stayed. She's working on a book of some sort. I think that's what she told me. Don't know where the other one scampered off to. She hasn't been back to her room in quite a while, though. Oh no, do you think she left the academy? I wouldn't think so. She left all her things in her room. Notes, valuable tomes. Not the sorts of items a sage would leave behind. Maybe she just got caught up in the nonsense outside. You can examine her room if you like. It's right over there. Oh wow, I don't need to show you idea or nothing. You're just gonna let me go through a girl's room? Okay, thanks for the trust. 
Don't mind us, we're just scholars doing research. Okay, she's obviously not here. Hmm. Hasn't been slept in. Such a waste of a perfectly good bed. That's true. What about these letters? I think your decision to leave the academy and go to the ancient ruins was the right call. Something isn't right here, so I can't quite determine what that may be. I prefer to disappear into the academy's books for days on end. I expect to spend a great deal of time hiding in the library's quiet study room. I feel so much safer within its comfortable confines. Let me tell you how I plan to organize my research. Oh, this is kind of boring. <laughs> I'll start by reviewing musings about the slowed. Okay. Second, I'm thinking of rereading some book about sea elves. Finally, I believe some light reading is in order. Something just for pleasure instead of research. Maybe the fourth volume in the Dark Elf Year series. I was expecting, like, the sexy Argonian, but that'll do. She just goes on to talk about reading books. Okay. Neat. What do you think, Raz? The Sapiarch's letter. She's hidden a coded message in the words. Raz has seen this done before. A code? Can you crack it? Hanael mentions something isn't right here. That she plans to hide in a quiet room. Very smart. It seems the Sapiarch knows that someone is hunting her. Oh, wow. The list of specific books in a specific order, though. That's the key, Raz thinks. So we need to find the books that she mentioned. We need to find the books and the podiums. If Raz has deciphered the meaning of her code correctly. Let's hope we can find her before the court of Bedlam does. A cultist led a Daedric assault on the college. That's where I was before coming here. That is disturbing news. The Queen hates Daedric machinations, especially the most overt ones. Let us hurry and try to find the Sapiarch. Okay, let's go. Class is now in session. That's a class? What are you teaching chickens? Probably how to be the best clucker and have the prettiest feathers. Good chickens. What a weird college. Just teaching a bunch of chickens how to be chickens. I'm following you, Raz. Where are we going? Oh, there's one of the books. This must be about the sea elves. Ah, uh, the dark elf year books. Okay, there should be more. What a weird college. You're supposed to be studying. Studying how to be a badass? Holy crap, look at her go. Here's another book. Sages of the Crystal Tower. That must be about the Sapiarchs. Oh, and there's one here I missed, right in front of Raz. Ah, the first book she was reading, the slowed book. Okay, now we just have to place the books. The birthday girl's got this. I feel confident. Let's see what happens. Which book will you place on the first podium? I believe she talked about the slowed first. Okay. And I think... What was the last one she was reading? The... The light reading. The... The sea elf book. Oh, no, no. It wasn't that one. She was reading the Dark Elf book. There we go. Oh, I can't remember the order. I'm going to try, though. I'm going to do my best. What goes on the second podium? I'm going to guess the Sea Elf book. I was wrong. No, I was right. Yay! All right, last book. A vanishing bookcase. Raz likes this clever sage. I do, too. My illusion spell. Who, who are you? If you're the person that's been following me, I warn you, I'll, 
I'll scream. Don't scream. I was sent here to find you. I knew I wasn't imagining things. I told Imadril that we were being followed. If the head of the College of Sapiarch sent you and told you we got it, the Resolute Diamonds, it must be a serious matter. Something involving the other alliances? No, much worse, actually. Daedric Princes. Where can I find Imadril? Daedric Princes, you say? As in more than one? That doesn't sound very good. Imadril went to King's Haven, not too far from here. The old ruins. He loves to poke around in that place every chance he gets. But I'm still a bit confused. I'll go to King's Haven and check on him. Uh, Raz will explain things to the pretty Sapiarch. Oh, and yeah? And make sure she returns safely to Lilandrel. Okay, I bet she will. You go find will. the one in the ruins. Okie dokie, I getcha. <laughs> Raz and his crushes, he's so cute. Let me just run past Chicken Guy again. That's so cute. Okay, so we found one, now we gotta find one more, and he's up here in this delve called King's Haven. I don't know why he'd hang around in a delve. That seems like a really bad spot to hide. I feel like if you hide in a delve, like, you're just begging to be attacked by Daedra. I hope he's okay, though. King's Haven Pass discovered! Is that a goblin? What is that? Jeez. I'm just gonna sneak on by. If I can. Making my way downtown, running fast because the monsters scare me and I don't want to fight nothing. Because I'm super lazy and it's my birthday and I shouldn't have to fight if I don't want to, but it's going to make me. Can't wait for this weekend, have my ice cream cake, relax with my husband. Watch the new season of Shameless with them. It's going to be fantastic. I'm just going to sneak on by. Maybe that guy won't see me. His torch isn't even lit. Wow. He's bad at his job. Supposed to be looking for intruders. Doesn't even have his torch lit. Someone should tell him. I'm not going to. I'm just gonna sneak on by. It's not cowardly. I'm a spy master. I'm allowed to sneak. Hope I can sneak past that guy. Oh wow, I did it. Proud of me. My birthday must give me like plus 10 sneak or something. The game knows it's my birthday. It's going easy on me. Oh, there's other people down here. How big is this delve? Oh, wow. It's pretty big. I love the delves in Somerset. They're just very big and beautiful. Well put together. Oh shit. Okay, you're not as big as I thought you were gonna be. Okie dokie. Here I go. You won't get past my splendid webs, mortal! Now, kill! All right, that all you got? I was a little worried there for a second when she summoned her spider babies. Too late. The mistress has already claimed her prize. Oh no. 
Oh, more spider webs. Oh, Mythala must be here. Oh, shit. I better hurry. You there! Burn the webs! Quickly! Quickly! Okay. I got your I got your back. Oh my gosh. Are you okay? Thank goodness the Darian was here. Webbing. It's in all my nooks and crannies. Thanks for helping though. No! <gasps> Save the Dawnstar Jeff! Mathala, she took Darian! And his sword broke and this gem popped out. Oh, it's the Sapiarch. Are you okay? The spider poison. It's spreading fast. Take this. Resolute diamond. Don't let the Golden Knight sacrifice be in vain. I'll protect the diamond. I was sent here to find you. Then you know we're Tower Sentinels. Guardians of the diamond keys that open the crystal tower. Please, make sure my diamond remains safe. What do you think happened to the Golden Knight, Darian? My father, prince of the secret arts. She sought my diamond, but also seemed very interested in the Golden Knight. I fear she's taken him to the spiral skein. Rest easy. Tell her Nihil, I'm sorry. Oh my gosh. Poor guy, he died. But at least I got his diamond and... Oh my gosh, poor Darian. He's just... He went through this portal that Mathala pulled him through. Holy cow, there's just so much to process! Ah, there you are. The right master needs you back in Arteum immediately. Find him in Kapora Tower as soon as you can. Are you doing okay, Val? You were pretty mad last time I saw you. Okay. Alright, let's go ahead and fast travel back. All the way to Arteum. Here we go. I'm having a great birthday, guys. I wanted to play Elder Scrolls. That's all I wanted to do. I'm feeling better than I have been. Yay! That's all a girl could ask for on her birthday. I want to inform the other Sapiarch what happened, but... I'm summoned to Arteum. I gotta talk to the right master first. She's safe. She's with Razumdar, so... I'm pretty sure she's alright. He'll keep her safe while I'm gone. Doing awesome, cool Sigic stuff. Maybe while I'm here, I'll get to see Val and ask her how she's doing. Ask her what she did to her husband. I bet he's in trouble. I bet he lied and said, uh, it's not what it looks like. I'm cheating. <laughs> like, that's, it's easier to say that he's cheating than say he joined a Daedric cultist and he's following Mythala. Probably cheating on her with Mythala. Thank you for returning so promptly. Before we get to other matters, tell me about your search for the Tower Sentinels. Valserin recounted the events at the College of Sapiarchs after she returned with Lathan. But I'm eager to hear your report. I like your hologram. Are those your memories? Is that you holding that heart thing we're looking for? Huh. One of the Sentinels is under the protection of Razumdar. The other one was slain by Mathala. Sorry, my bad. Mathala, curse her name. Along with her cohorts, Clavicus Vile and Nocturnal, she corrupted Lathan and threatens all of Nern. But the Sapiarchs no longer have an attuned pair of key bearers. That will make it harder to access the Crystal Tower. Do you think that Lathan was brainwashed by Mathala? I don't know. He seemed like he was in his right mind. He just seems like a jerk. Mathala dragged the Golden Knight into her realm, and he dropped this gem. That Golden Knight is one of Meridia's champions, I believe. It seems that one Daedric Prince is trying to help us. That gem is the Dawn Star from the Dawnbreaker Sword. Why take the Knight prisoner, though? What are the princes playing at here? Remind me who Mythala is again. I know who she is, but for those of you who don't know. Meridia is the Daedric Prince of Life and Light and the matron of the Colored Rooms. She isn't part of the Triad of Princes. Indeed, it seems that she has specifically sent her champion to oppose them. We'll need to keep that in mind as we proceed. You said it'll be harder to access the Crystal Tower now. Why is that? Hmm? Oh, yes. 
Without two attuned tower sentinels, the Sapiarchs can't use the diamond keys to open the way to the crystal tower. The attuning process usually takes a year and a day. Oh, wow. And I have no idea if they can hasten the process. Holy cow, I didn't know that it took that long to do that. Let's talk about the matter you summoned me to discuss. It involves my missing memories. I've recalled an important detail and I need to show it to you. For now, let me compensate you for your efforts so far. I appreciate your help in all this. Oh, thank you. While you were gone, I have been scrying through my own memories, trying to find the missing events that will remind me where I hid the heart of transparent law. I believe I have discovered something significant. So you remember where you hid the heart of transparent law? Not exactly. While scrying through my memories, I saw half-formed thoughts and splintered recollections. I saw myself enter the Dreaming Cave beneath Kapora Tower, and I held the Heart of Transparent Law in my hands. Tell me everything you remember. I opened a portal, but I can't recall where it went. Something intentionally blocked the destination from my sight. Hmm. I entered the portal, and time passed. Then I was back in the cave, and the heart was gone. Mysterious. Will you accompany me to the Dreaming Cave? Yeah, I will. The answer to where I hid the Heart of Transparent Law resides in the Dreaming Cave. Or, more precisely, through the portal I opened and once traversed. But therein lies the problem. It's best if I showed you. Meet me in the cave beneath this tower. Can you tell me more about the Dreaming Cave? The Dreaming Cave lies beneath Kapora Tower, where the various threads of magicka and other energies come together and pool like water running down a chain. Trained Sigics can use that energy to open portals to anywhere in Oblivion and beyond. Wait, so you opened a portal to Oblivion? Perhaps. I honestly can't remember. If not for the success of my scrying spell, even this minor memory would still elude me. There's more to explain, but words fail me. I'll show you what I mean when we go down to the Dreaming Cave. So that projection you're looking at, that's your memory, right? Just the result of my scrying spell. It allowed me to project images from my mind for further study. To look for details my memory alone may have missed. I watched one particular sequence over and over. The one where I took the heart into the cave. Is that how you remembered using the dreaming cave to hide the heart? As I explained, the scrying allowed me to see myself take the heart into the dreaming cave. To watch as I opened a portal and stepped inside. Then the image faltered and skipped a beat. That's it weird. It ended with me back in the cave, but the heart was gone. Hmm, that is strange. Where's Valserin right now? I was hoping to talk to her after everything that happened. I feel really bad. Valserin refuses to leave Lathan's side. She's trying to get him to explain how he could forsake our order and pledge himself to a Daedric prince. I hope she can see her way through this. We're going to need her before all is said and done. What happened between Valserin and Lathan? That's not my tale to tell. They both rose through the ranks of our order together. Fell in love. Had a child. Aww. The rest... Well, that's personal. Oh, I totally understand. I still find it difficult to believe that the Lathan I know could betray us. Right? That just doesn't make sense to me either. I don't know him very well, but... Oh my gosh, so grief will make you do terrible, terrible things. Well, everyone, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please leave me a comment down below. Wish me happy birthday. I'm 27. It feels great. I'm going to lay around all day in my pajamas. Don't judge me. You all are jealous. You wish you could lay around in your kitty cat pajamas. But, guys, I'm all out of time for today because all I want to do for the rest of my birthday is lay in bed, eat cookies, and play on my Nintendo Switch. But I'll see all of you in my next video. Bye, guys.